What's up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll replace these two fluorescent light fixtures with 14 of these LED recessed down lights. The process is simple. These fluorescent lights make loud humming sounds and flicker. It's time for them to go. The LED down lights transform the room into this, which is much nicer. The lights fill the whole room and it is steady and quiet. First is a disclaimer. I am not a licensed electrician and I'm not claiming to be one. So, officially, this is being provided as a reference, to use at your own risk. But, I'll show you how I did it. To start, let's take a look at these lights. These are the specific lights that I used. But, there is a large variety of this style of lighting, from a variety of different manufacturers. The features and installation process will be pretty much the same. They include the LED recessed light. There is no housing or ceiling can required. You drill a hole in the ceiling and pop it in. They also include a junction box. The junction box has a switch with five color temperature options. Opening the box, there's a hot wire and a neutral wire to supply the power to the light. And there are also two wire nuts to connect them to power. The light is connected to the junction box with this connector. You just plug it in to connect them, then secure it with this threaded cap. I will temporarily connect this light to power and show all five of the color settings. And now it's wired up, so let's plug it in. 2700K, 3000K, 3500K, 4000K, and 5000K. I'm installing these in drop ceiling tiles, so I pulled them out to drill the holes. I made a template to make sure all of the holes were located perfectly. If you're installing these in a drywall ceiling, you'll have to make a mess in the room. With the holes drilled in the ceiling, push the box through. Then push up the spring-loaded clips on the sides of the light and push the light up through the hole to install it. The clips will secure it in place. And just so this isn't too boring, here's an amazing feat. In case you're not certain, this is very impressive. But I'll leave an even more impressive feat at the end of the video. Now let's get back to it. Now let's look at wiring these up. The junction box has two knockouts, one for the power supply into the box and one for the power supply out of the box to the next box. Let's wire it up. Knock out the required knockouts. We'll be using both for this one. I purchased these cord grips separately. The light kit did not come with them. They hold the wires in place and prevent them from being pulled back out of the box. Just push them into the knockouts. Next, push the power in and power out wires into the junction box through the cord grips. The cord grips secure them so they won't pull back out. Then strip all the wires so they can be connected. Then connect the wires. Connect all the neutral wires with the wire nut. Then connect all the hot wires with the wire nut. These lights do not have a ground, so it's not required. But I connected the ground so it is functional in case I want to splice something else into the circuit in the future and close up the junction box. Then this wire will go to the next junction box, and so on. Now let's get to work. Here's the ceiling with all of the holes drilled for the new LED recessed lights. And here we are with all of the lights installed. I started here and strung them this way. I did set up the camera in the corner of the room and filmed the whole process, but the video didn't save. I don't know what happened. But here's the mock-up viewed from the top. I went from light to light, wiring them one at a time. Run a wire from the next hole to the current hole. Wire the box, push it up through the hole, and insert the light. Then move on to the next hole and repeat the process. Continue down the line, wiring them all up. And here is the last light, which will be connected to the switch power here that is currently powering the tube light. At this time, I'd like to point out that this was an easy job because I had full access above the drop ceiling tiles. If you are working with a finished drywall ceiling without attic access and running wires perpendicular to the joists, you will need to drill a hole through the joist to run the wire through. Now let's connect it to power. Turn off the breaker for the power source that you're going to wire into. For me, it's the tube light. I've removed the light fixture and here is the switched power. Here is the last light. This wire needs to be fed back through the hole, 
and wired into the switched power supply in this junction box. I will need about this much wire to reach the junction box, so I cut it off here, then fed the wire through to the box. Then push the junction box up through the hole and install the light with the spring clips. Then route the wire into the junction box and secure it in place with the cable staple. Now it's time to wire it up. Go ahead and strip the wires. Connect the hot wires with a wire nut, then the neutral wires with a wire nut, and the ground with a wire nut, and stuff it all up in the box. Then install a cover and you're all set. The wiring is complete. Now the whole string of LED lights is wired to switch power. Turn the breaker back on to supply power to the lights. And here we are. Everything is looking as expected. Now let's fill in these empty holes where the old light fixtures were. I added a grid support in each hole to set them up for ceiling tiles. And luckily I had some extra ceiling tiles to fill them in. And here's the final result. These lights are all set at 3500K. So that wraps up this project. The process was pretty easy and straightforward and it was a very nice upgrade. And as promised, here's the amazing feat. I blew the corner off the ceiling tile by flexing my bicep. Yes, this is amazing and impressive. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.